Hello everybody. Today is currently Black Friday and traditionally we have always decorated on Black Friday. So we have started pulling things out. Um, we're going to do the Christmas tree mainly. I don't think we're going to get this all done today because it's already, what time is it? It is already 145. So, but I thought we'd bring some stuff out have a cozy, relaxing afternoon and see how far we get with the decorating. Let me know, have you guys decorated for Christmas already? When did you decorate? Look at that. Yeah. It is Saturday and I am getting ready to head out for the day. I am going to lunch with Luana. We're meeting up with another friend up there and we're going to the Oxford Exchange down in Tampa, which is really awesome. I've only been there once. And then the Oxford Exchange has a bookstore in the front and Larry's really looking for a book. He can't find it anywhere. I'm hoping to find it there and surprise him with that. So yeah, we're just gonna hang out together. We're gonna have a really fun day out and about do some girls shopping some lunch and then we'll come home relax and see what we get up to uh, but first i am running late of course so i need to get on the road and meet luana and then we'll be on our way Good morning. 
morning guys it is now the next day so i woke up early this morning um i did a workout which felt great i got dressed ready showered all the wonderful things larry went off to baseball practice and then i placed a online grocery order just because i don't want to run out right now i'm kind of doing that multitasking thing and i thought you know what it'll be really convenient if i can just place an order have it delivered and then i'll put it away um, and then when Larry gets back, we are going to head off to Home Depot. We need to get a couple of things. I'd really like to get those accordion blinds for the bedroom and take down these that we have. And then we took the top screen off of the shelves in the living room. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And then Larry's going to get something, something or another to put on there. And then you won't notice like the difference. I don't know. He explained it to me, but he'd be better at explaining it. So we're supposed to have the painters arrive this week. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed that happens. So we're kind of like prepping and getting ready, which kind of halted us from decorating. Originally, I had said like, yes, I'm going to do the full blown decorating for Christmas and then like we'll tear it all down and then we can see the before and after. And I'm like, that is that is a lot of work <laughs> to put it all up just to tear it down in like five days. Um, so we decided not to do any of the Christmas decorating. We put a couple of ornaments up on the tree here and there, which you guys already saw, but uh, yeah, we decided not to do that. So we do need to run to Home Depot, um, and then when the groceries arrive, we're going to do a little haul. For our grocery haul, I picked up these, which I've never tried before, but they were buy one, get one free, so I thought it would be the best time to try it, and I thought adding them to soups maybe... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I got the organic hot sticker vegetable dumplings and then the Korean style mini wontons, which have chicken and vegetable. And then some mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, best brand ever, watermelon, Liam's favorite alongside berries. And then I got this to add to soups to make it spicy. This was also buy one, get one free. So we went with the traditional pasta sauce some shredded carrot, green onions to top on soups and salads, and then we have salad mixes, which were also buy one, get one free. We did the shopping on the right day today, guys. We got a lot of buy one, get one. So we have hearts of romaine and then the American blend, some cabbage. Then we have protein pasta and some orzo, some chicken bouillon, toasted graham, oh best God. coffee ever. And then this is going to be interesting. Like I've never purchased vegetables in these little cups, but hear me out. So the frozen bags are like fresh. Liam doesn't really like love. So I'm trying this to see if he'll eat them from here. They're just seasoned with sea salt. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna give it a try to get him to get in some veggies. But he loves peppers. We found that out over the Thanksgiving holiday. He loves peppers, so that's fun. And then we have some potatoes, some eggs, cottage cheese, and I was super excited to find this for baking. I'm gonna try it with some Christmas cookies. Also gonna try it with some meals for Liam. I'm like pancakes or um, uh, whatever else I figure out to make with it, but I was really excited to find oat flour. And then we also have buns. So that was our delivery grocery order for this lovely Sunday. Yeah, yak, 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 groceries, vegetables, this, that, the other thing. Excuse you? I got the good stuff today. Indeed I did. Wild, High and Tight, The Life and Death of Billy Martin by Peter Goldenbach. I got this one, yay. Gonna read about Billy Martin. One of those guys you either loved him or you hated him. Okay, I'm back. Here's the art thief by Michael Finkel. This guy was one of the most successful art thieves in the history of thieving art. But he got caught. And what happened to what he stole and how he got caught and the sentence that he served and then they found out he had taken more than what they charged him with so they charged him for the, the new thefts that they had just discovered and uh, he went back to jail. So. I wanted to read that. And the one I just finished is Final Flight by Peter Steckel. A military plane crashed in the Sierra Nevada mountains in a glacier, 1942. In 2005, they found one of the bodies of the crew members. I think there were five guys on board. And it 
piqued the interest of the author who went there in that area several times and hiked those mountains. He went back two years later to see what he could find in the crash scene and he found a second body. Fascinating stuff. Decades and decades of time have passed and what they found and how they found it and what happened and the investigation and everything else. So also a good read if you're a history buff or buff. Airplane, good stuff. It's sad that they had to pass away though. There were, there were four guys, four guys. We haven't actually quite finished decorating the Christmas tree. We had to have a pause moment. Um, we still have a couple of boxes that we wanna bring out from the garage. Basically, I think we're gonna be late on our Christmas decor this year. Um, due to paint job and waiting for that to happen because we just don't want to really bring everything out just to have to put it away. So um, the full decorating has not happened yet, um, but I'm excited. Every time I do my mascara, guys, I feel like I have, you know when you have like a fluff or a fuzz stuck to one eyelash and another and it just creates like this weird feeling? I have that and it is horrible. There is a wild woodpecker outside. Okay, so to tail off on Larry's book haul, or him talking about The Art Thief and the other book that he was reading, I wanna talk to you guys about a few books that my goal is to finish by the end of the year. I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, it's questionable. We will see, but you guys know we had a reading goal, so closer to New Year, or maybe in the New Year, we'll talk about our goals, because you guys know that Larry and I sat down last year and talked about our goals of reading. So I have a couple of books, I have it, on my nightstand, these are the books that I wanna finish by end of year or like within that first week of January. So, all right, we'll start. Okay, first and foremost, you guys know, and I've talked about it before, The Fourth Wing. I am halfway through the book now and guys, it is so, 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 so good. I keep trying to get everybody to read it. Anybody that I talk to, I'm like, you have to read Fourth Wing. You have to read Fourth Wing totally fantasy amazing oh it's about dragons and it's just great like it is a really good 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 book so if you're a fan of game of thrones and like the divergent series it's kind of like that like it reminds me of those two things and the hunger games combined oh hi larry do i hear somebody talking about books you do i'm tailing trailing off of your finish of the art thief and you mentioned what is it see i'm editing and filming Multitasking. Who's about a baseball player? Uh, the, Wild, high, and tight. Yeah, it's about the life and the death of Billy Martin. Yes. So you talked about that one and then the art thief. So I'm trailing off on my reads that I want to finish before end of year. She's been talking about this for weeks. Oh, I've been updating Larry. I've even, <laughs> I think it's becoming a series. I bought the second book at Target. I think you might be out of focus. Let me see. Clear. Okay, you're in focus now. I was telling Larry who my picks were to play Violet, who is the main character in this book. We've already started to pick the cast for the TV show. Yes. I'm like, it, it has to be very specific. See, this is kind of the problem when you read a book before a show comes out of the movies. It's like you have really high expectations, and I have very high expectations. Whoever picks it up, I hope they do it justice. That's all I'm going to say. I feel like HBO would have nailed it, but I don't think they're the ones that picked it up. So... But then they've already done dragons, so I don't know. Anyways, this is amazing. You have to read it. All right, next. Larry read this. So we watched The Crown, um, and he read this book, Diana, Death of a Goddess by David Cohen. Cohen? Cohen? Cohen. Cohen. Um, Larry finished it, and then he's like, you should really read this. It would be a good one, and I was really it's interested. It's a good read. So I want to read this one too. It's a s shorter read. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get my fourth wing finished. And I'd love to read this because the next part two of the final season of The Crown comes out in a few weeks in December. So I'd like to read this at the same time that that last season comes out. And then I started this and then stopped. It ends with us. I want to get this one finished by Colleen Hoover. And then I also started this one and then stopped. Um, also triggered, like re-triggered me to want to finish it. I'm also halfway through this one. Um, triggered me to want to finish it because the crown. And then my mom, myself, Luana, and 
her friend Christina, we were at the restaurant in um, Tampa called the Oxford Exchange and they have a little bookstore in there, which is where I got Larry's art thief book. And then we decided to pick up a book and start like a little book club. So the four of us are in this book club together and this is the next one that I'm gonna read. This will probably be like my new year book, although we'd said that we would try and get it finished by new year. <laughs> and I'm like, I wanna read all of these. One at a time. Oh my gosh. Um, but I'm like so into fourth wing, like I was trying to get them to read it with me. And they're like, no, you already started. Like, that's not fair. It has to be an unbiased, like we have to pick something that we've never read before, all of us. And I'm like, okay. Um, so I couldn't get them to read fourth wing with me, but I'm like so into it. I don't want to start this yet because I'm obsessed with fourth wing. Have to know what happens next. Um, so, but I did pick up this, so I'm going to get, get this going too. This is lessons in chemistry. So those are the five, five books. My book goal for the year, by the way, of 2023 was five books. And I have five books that I want to read by <laughs> in a month. <laughs> you can do it. That's funny. But wait, there's more. Larry's got more. This is turning into like the book haul. The book haul. The book. Do you want to sit on the bed and then out that way you don't have to sit I'll on the just, floor? I'll I can angle here. here. Okay. If I'm in focus. I hope so. We're at different like widths, not widths, depths. Now, three of these are new, one I've had for a while. One of the new ones, and I don't really care for paperback books. Comment down below, yes or no. I'm a hardback girl. All of mine are hardback. Yeah, mine too. There. But I couldn't pass on this one. Plus, I got it for free, so that was even better. Yeah, Target has the deals like buy two books, get one free. It's the Oppenheimer, the book that was the inspiration for the major motion picture. Oh, this book yeah. is the inspo for the movie, for the it, film? That's that's what it says. It's true. Oh, oh, it's true. It says it right there. <laughs> it says it right there. Okay. So we got that one. Oh, oh, Larry had a book fumble. Load shift. Then the these are two newer ones. Bill O'Reilly. Eh. Uh, Killing the Witches, the Horror of Salem. Well, Massachusetts, everybody. Two sits. Oh, my gosh. So anyway... There's that one. <laughs> You're funny. This is also new by Anderson Cooper. Aster. Aster. Is Who's this... watching The Gilded Age? I was going to say, is this book inspired by The Gilded Age? We are amazing. It's number one show on HBO right now, guys. You should be watching The Gilded Age. They're on season two. My mom, Larry, and myself obsessed we missed last night's episode by the way the episodes come out on sunday at 9 p.m and i'm in bed <laughs> already Done by julian fellow is the same guy that did downton abbey yeah so if you love downton abbey you would love this but it's even more intense i feel like than downton abbey yeah, it's also so um like visual effects uh much more like upscaled i feel like higher budget yeah much higher budget and this one i've had for a while been wanting to read finally got it out of the the archives. Ooh, actually, it was in a box in the garage. To Kill the Irishman, the war that crippled the mafia, also made into a movie. Who's the Irishman? Uh, Danny Green. Okay. He was uh, he was in Cleveland, so kind of a Cleveland connection here. You see such a difference in our. However, Prince Harry and Diana for me are more of amongst what you read, but I definitely dive into fiction. See, I'm all about fiction. And then, um, like Aster, I would read too. Mm -hmm. well, we have similar reading, but you will not dive into my um. Your wing book, yeah. fourth wing, no. What? I am offended. You wouldn't read that. It's fiction. So, is that why you struggle so much to read the Harry Potter series? Yes. She has tried to get me to read all seven books. Or is there eight? There's seven books, right? Eight <laughs> movies. Yeah, seven books, eight movies. You got it right. Seven. For the longest time, I was stuck at one. And then I finished the second one. You started reading number one when we lived in Ohio together. Yeah, it was seven years ago. And then you finished the second one. Yeah. And but... I've been trying to get him to read the third one because that's where it all changes. Like, The Prisoner of Azkaban totally takes the top shelf. But nonfiction, that's, that's my, that's my go-to. True, and you know what? When I did read, um, what was it called? Why am I forgetting? Draco Malfoy, Tom Felton's um, oh, yeah. book. Yes. He read that, yeah. Beyond the Wand. Yeah. I read it, and I was like, you should really read it, and he read it. Biographies and nonfiction. 
Unless it's an unauthorized bio, uh, biography. Oh, see, then me as biography and fiction. Because mm. that's what I like to read, biographies yeah. and fiction. We're opposites. Well, well we have biographies on... in common. Yeah, but I won't read a, an unauthorized. I want, I want a, No, I know. I want the truth. Well, is Diana unauthorized? Um, that's not really much about her life more than it is about her unfortunate uh, um, Death. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, true. Death of a goddess. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff in here I didn't know. Did anybody else cry during the crown? So emotional. This is one of those things I remember where I was at when I heard it. Ninety-seven. Oh, geez, ninety-seven. I don't remember hearing about it though in ninety-seven. Well, I think because no. I was six. Yeah, you wouldn't. So, uh... but you would think because I remember nine eleven clear as day. I was nine. I remember where I was, where everything. I remember that whole day. Well, this Kids getting in, picked up. This happened in Paris, and that happened in New York City. So there was True. a big. Yeah, but it's Princess Diana. Like, yeah, but... I'm sure it made huge news here. It did. Do I have something stuck in the eyelashes? Like, in in in, stuck. Stuck. Yeah, like it feels like I have. I don't see anything. Fuzz. This happened to me last time I put on this mascara. So somebody commented, where's Larry? I'm here. Oh, yeah. Somebody, I think so, a couple people are asking why you're never in the vlogs anymore. Oh, well, thank you for your concern. You're just doing, like, doing what you're doing and I'm doing what I'm doing, but we're all still, we're all still in the same household. Well, she was the queen of Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving. She was doing turkey. She was doing all kinds of stuff, multitasking. Little man was being little man. That's so, usually the thing, like, because... You know, Larry's either with, if I'm filming and vlogging, either Liam's napping or Larry's with Liam, or, you know, like, that's usually when I'm vlogging. It's just kind of like the flow of how things are going, because I feel bad, like, I don't know, kind of vlogging if Liam's right there. You know, it's just like balancing. We're balancing life. Balancing motherhood, fatherhood, filming, what to show, what not to show, how much to share, what not to share. Like, we're in that kind of a... Process. And I've been working outside, digging out mm -hmm. stumps and pulling Found vines flowers. out of trees. Found some flowers, some flowering something. Mm -hmm. uh, and you couldn't see them because there was so much stuff growing around them and on top of them. So I cleared all that out so now you can see them. Mm -hmm. And I still got a little bit more to do, but it's, it's looking much better. Beautiful. Yeah. You have four books that you need to read and I have five books. Oh, I have more than four. So do I. Yeah. I want to get these read. Like, I'm in a reading thing. So little books, so little time. That's what we were saying, and then the battery died and we got cut off. So little time for do the you battery. Wanna, do you want to take the camera and show them the bookcases on either side of the fireplace and explain? Like, I explained that you were getting something to put on something to make it look better, but I don't know what that something is and I don't remember. So you just want to show them the panels that you took off and then what you were saying that you wanted okay. to get from Home Depot. Well, show them the thingies. I'll show them. <laughs> He doesn't take the camera with them. No, I mean like show them the bookshelves. Okay, so you're talking quieter. Okay, so the top row used to have covers on top of them. Yellow, weird. Here, he'll show you. There you go. So perfect example see how much taller the one on the right looks even though it's not but like with that off it looks so much more elevated the 60s inspired speaker <laughs> cloth covering yes so that is now gone larry took those off it's gonna look awesome this wall hopefully will look a lot and taller even now, though it's tall come closer okay come closer oh yeah the explanation of what larry um, said he wanted to do so we have a lip here and here this was fastened to. I'm gonna get some quarter round, half inch, cut a piece that'll fit here and here, and that will kind of tie up this this slip and this slip and smooth it out, and make it look nice. Perfect. I hope. Me too. We'll see. It looks better already, actually. It does. Look at our garland, guys. We have Liam's stocking hanging up now. Oh, we gotta turn on our fireplace. Ta-da! Remember when we took these off, there were no speakers up here, just the wires. <laughs> They're gone. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, I am going to end this vlog here. Um, like I said, we're just going to go out for the afternoon, go to Home Depot. Kind of boring. I don't know. Um, so I'll end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Bye!